Today I'm here at Benningborough Hall, which is an absolute jewel here in Yorkshire and it's renowned for its sensational cutting garden and there's beautiful herbaceous borders, there'll be delightful dahlias and I'm the lucky person who's allowed to gather some of these flowers to create some arrangements here at Benningborough. Well finally I'm here at beautiful Benningborough Hall and it's absolutely bursting, it's a riot of flowers. I need to meet up with one of the team from Benningborough and I'm guessing you must be Anita. I certainly am, yes. Yes, Hi, it's lovely to meet you. Good to meet you too. I'm Jonathan. I can see you're already picking there. I'm hoping these are going to be for me. They certainly are. Thank um, you. It's just a start because this garden is just full of loads of goodies. It's, it definitely is a sweet shop. I can spot a bit of Artemisia there. That would be wonderful to gather. Yes, let's go for that. I'll get a few stems. Thank you, and I'll join you if I may. It's a lovely colour, this, isn't it? Yeah, that it's silver a... grey. It's quite ghost-like, isn't it, with yeah. these spires just wisping through here. And it's a really nice contrast to the, the greenery that's around. So it stands out in a vase. Definitely, yeah. You always find grey foliage. It blends with pinks, it blends with purples, it even goes with oranges and bright yellows. Such a versatile thing. It is. So one tip I always do is the minute I'm picking, I like to get it straight into a bucket, Anita, yeah. because that stops any airlock from forming oh, and it means good. things are going to last for as long as possible. So really good tip. Always take some water take with you, place in, in the bucket directly. Yeah. So I'm dying to look at other areas of this garden. So where are we going to head? Which bit shall we go to? Oh, um, there's a beautiful border just at the other side of the kitchen garden here, so I think that might be a really nice place to start. This is stunning. Now, you could recreate this in your own garden on a smaller on a footprint, smaller scale. couldn't you? This yeah. planting is really divine. Yeah, it's beautiful. The colours are gorgeous, aren't they? The whites and then the soft pinks and purples, it is it is lovely. And it is calming, you can just feel that stress level reduce when you get yeah, in here. Yeah. As a Yorkshire boy, I'm delighted to be at one of our iconic National Trust properties, beautiful Benningborough Hall, just outside York. And it's a feast of flowers, foliages and everything that a flowery person like myself extols in. Using an old garden object like a, a, an old riddle or a sieve or a watering can makes a great container. Inside here I've just got a tray with some water and then I'm using chicken wire to angle and anchor all the flower stems into place. We often try and work as sustainably as possible, so generally I try not to use any, any of the floral foam unless it's absolutely essential. Herbs, great to include in a flower arrangement because you get fragrance then. And fragrance from flowers is essential in my mind because a flower arrangement without fragrance, it's almost like a meal without taste. The two don't seem to work together. So any fragrant foliage or fragrant flowers, then you've got a natural air freshener for the room. So you don't need a scented candle, you don't need a reed diffuser, you've got fragrance from natural plant materials. And one thing that is beautifully fragrant is the myrtle. And myrtle, which are these little star-shaped flowers, is a wonderful shrub to have in the garden growing, but great for adding into a flower arrangement. So nearly there with this arrangement, keeping it fairly low, fairly flat, lots of different textures in here, just using the dahlias as the star performers. And then I'm going to finish with a few stems of the verbena, verbena bonariensis. Don't worry, you don't have to remember all these names but lots of different things like the verbenas. Again, this is a butterfly magnet. So I could place this design outside on a patio, outside on a garden table, and when you sat of an evening having that essential gin and tonic or glass, and wine, glass of wine, you can enjoy all the insects buzzing around here. And what you've done, you've brought a little bit of nature indoors. Mm -hmm.